So in the previous video, I said that there were more things that you can do with array type elements. I want to show you one of them. It's a very important one that we're going to use a lot in this class. This is how you can add to a list. Now, we already know that you could use concatenation to add to a list. Um, but later on when we talk about references and we talk about um, what it means to modify a variable as opposed to creating a new object, um, we'll find out that sometimes you don't really want to concatenate two lists together and make a new list. What you want to do is you want to change the list that already exists. To do that, Python has a function called append. All right, so let's start out with x equal an empty list. This is a classic thing that you're going to do very often. Very often you're going to do this in a loop, but I'm just, I haven't shown you loops yet. All right, so right now x is an empty list. So I'll draw it the way we're going to draw reference diagrams when we get there. This is a box here that has no elements in it so far. Now, if we want to add something to it, we can say x dot append 10. Now what's going to happen here is that this append function only works on arrays. Can't use it on strings, can't use it on tuples, because they're both immutable. But in an array, what it does is it says, don't duplicate the array, don't make any new storage. Instead, take the storage that already exists and make it larger so that now there's space to store something inside of it. If you want, you can say x dot append 20, in which case it will add to it again. Now, um, this is actually a very, very fast operation. We'll be talking this semester about the performance of various, um, uh, of various operations that you might perform. This is one that happens ludicrously quickly. Um, technically O of 1, but most of you don't know what O of 1 means yet. That's okay. We'll talk about it later. All right, you can call append as many times as you want. You can make your array as long as you want. Very often what you'll do is you'll build yourself a loop that will call append over and over and over again to accumulate a whole bunch of values inside a list. Uh, but, but I can't really show you that yet until I show you um, loops. So I think I'll call that a halt for this video. But pay attention, you're going to use append a heck of a lot this semester. All right, bye-bye.